at the ready for the Green Gales, Chris Steele in goal for the Iron Heads. Steele will be the busier of the two in game one. 30 seconds in, Adam Peroni in on goal of pace. He'll get the Green Gales on the board early on. Delayed penalty coming up here, but Chris Veltman decides to get the job done early. He ties things at one with the goal with the extra attacker. Green Gales run into penalty trouble. Two men down for a full two minutes, but look at the work of Andrew Johnson. He plays keep away. The Iron Heads could not muster a threat with the man advantage. So instead of being in a hole, the Green Gales have the lead thanks to Cam Garland. Given his team that boost, muscles past Spencer Andrews who was without his stick. The Green Gales finished the first with three goals in a row. This one here by Matt Shan breaks free on a goal and beats Steele. Tanner Cook down at the head of steam just barrels through the challenge and he will find the back of the net as well. The Iron Heads Finish the first on a positive note. Short-handed, but Julian Garitano, he scores to cut the lead to 4-2. to two, And that would be the score after one period of play because Liam Wing will keep it that way with a slate save. Second period, more special teams were coming to play, but this time it's the Green Gales. Matt Shan, first of back-to-back -back shorthanded goals, but sandwiched between that. Nice defensive play by Braden Hunt to take away a scoring chance. Man down again, but Jeff Fernandez... In on goal, he's going to score. 6-2 to two now for the home side. Adrian Torek, a band, one-on-one -on -one with Connor McGee. He wins this battle and fires home a shot to cut the lead in half. Less than a minute to go in the second period. Mike Myers looking for a shooting lane. He's going to find one and he scores. That is a heavy-looking shot to finish off the scoring in the period. Right off the bat in the third, Jeff Fernandez runs into open space. Andrew Johnson picks him out. And he will score. That's Fernandez's second of the night. Then Johnson gets a goal himself. Spins off a defender and fires home. That's going to make it 10-3 now for the Green Gales. Adam Peroni is shoved into his steal by Kyle McDermott. Who decides to go after Peroni. And misses. Frustration really starting to show now. Tyler Stinson and Thomas Daniker. Further evidence to that as they would get tangled up late in the game, throw some punches, go to the ground. The Green Gales win a physical game by a score of 13 to 4 and say if that's the kind of series they're in for, they're ready for it. Like that's, we'll take that. Like if they want to play in the box all night, we'll play man up and we'll keep putting them in the net. That's what we want. That early two man advantage might have made things different for the Iron Heads, but it's killed off without too much difficulty setting the stage for the rest of the game. When I was ragging the ball there, I don't know, it felt great. Obviously with the boys, just getting the sticks going on the boards, that was always good motivation and felt really good to get that kill. It was really important early in the game. Obviously if they scored, they could probably give them some uh, momentum and obviously we took that away. It was a turning point in the game really because throughout the first like half of the game, they were kind of sticking with us and uh, you know, the momentum kept switching and stuff like that. And then right when we killed that penalty, like it went all our way from there.